to an update on a WSEZ investigation. Last week, we showed you this video of accident after accident happening on one family's property in Logan County. They tell WSAZ for years they've asked the state to install a guardrail to prevent scenes like this from happening over and over again and to try to keep them safe and from these out of control drivers who keep running right off the road. So News Channel 3's Kelsey Soto went out to the home to see the concerns firsthand and then asked the DOH what is being done and tonight that effort is making a difference. So you can see why I'm concerned, afraid, whatever you want to call it. A week ago, you met Sidney Lucas in his front yard along Trace Fork Road in Chapmanville. He reached out to us after he says his calls for help to the West Virginia Division of Highways fell on deaf ears. So we went to his home to see his concerns firsthand. Yeah. Could be a person out here getting hit. Uh, there's people that walk up and down the road. There's people ride up and down the road. In the last several years, his home and yard have become a crash site time and time again. In this video from January 2021, Captured by security cameras at his trailer, a driver runs off the road and slams into the front porch, shifting the trailer and throwing his wife from the couch. Then, just last month, another driver slid off the road and smashed into a garbage barrier. He says while crashes don't happen every day, speeding does. No, he's not doing speed on it. He's doing like 40, 45 miles an hour. Our story aired on Wednesday, February 2nd. Before that, I reached out to WVDOT about Lucas's concerns. In an email, they said they investigated the matter in January 2021, and an engineer did not recommend a guardrail at that time. But they were willing to have the area reevaluated if anything had changed. I sent pictures and video of the incident that happened a few weeks ago. Since our story aired, I've been calling and emailing asking about the reevaluation and for an interview but no one ever returned my calls or responded to my questions on monday lucas says he noticed on his security camera two wvdoh workers were on the road outside his home so he went outside to speak with them they said they were working on the reevaluation and would update him soon Frankly, two days later on wednesday lucas got a letter in the mail from the secretary of transportation jimmy riston that says representatives from district 2 headquarters are investigating the request they estimate it could take two weeks to complete and they'll notify him with results and recommendations I called again this morning to request an interview and to confirm the details of the letter Lucas received, but again, my call was not answered or returned. Lucas says he just wants protection for his family and is glad to see some progress. I'm so thankful I've talked to you and, you know, had interactions with you, and I'm glad that you helped get the ball rolling in a more timely fashion than what I was going through. The wife is a very, very appreciative of what you've done. and. Um, Kudos to you. Kelsey Soto, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Logan County. And we'll continue following up on this story and checking in for updates. Two weeks from the date of that letter would be Monday, February 21st.